one of the big things that people have been doing during the COVID-19 um, lockdown is baking. And I've seen lots of places where people are making banana bread. So I thought we'd give it a go. It's a merry berry recipe. She always does good cake, so I thought we'd use hers. So what we're gonna need is you need two bananas, two eggs, some butter, some sugar, some self-rising flour, baking powder, vanilla essence, and some milk. Don't worry about the quantities, it will come up on the video, so you can copy it if you want to. So first of all, we're gonna mash our bananas. Your bananas need to be as ripe as possible. Doesn't matter if the skin is black and they're all squishy, that's the better, because you're gonna get more of the natural sugar and flavor out of your bananas. self-rising flavour and you do need to whisk to sieve the flavour so as you don't get any lumps. Maybe you should have done this before we started the video. Your butter needs to be soft, so don't use it straight out the fridge. If you've forgotten to take it out the fridge, just pop it in the microwave for about 20-30 seconds and it will soften nicely for you to use. It's just going to be easier for you to mix it 
if the butter is soft. Give it a good mixing. You know everything. All combined. It smells lovely. Now, Mary's recipe doesn't ask for vanilla essence, but I like to put vanilla essence in pretty much everything that I bake. Just a few spots. And then we need one teaspoon of baking powder. So just one level spoon. And then we need, let me check. Two tablespoons of milk. When we've mixed it all completely, we're going to check to make sure it's not too dry. If it is too dry, we can add a little bit more milk, one spoon at a time. She don't want it to be over wet. The batter is not going to be completely smooth because of the banana. You're going to have some of the chunks of banana. We just make sure the flour and the butter and the eggs are combined. And I think that's about it. you're going to need a loaf tin. It's a two pound loaf tin. I've got liners for my tin already. If you don't have the liners then you can use baking powder or baking parchment powder and you need to line the bottom of the tin and the sides. That's why I just find it easier to use the liners. And we're just going to pour the mixture in to the tin. Make sure it's even in your tin. And there we have it. So we're going to cook this in the oven now for about an hour and it needs to be on 180 degrees and you need to have warmed up your oven beforehand. I've got my skewer ready to test it, but I'll show you that when we get to that point. Let's test the banana bread now to see if it's cooked. Mm. Mm. So it needs a couple more minutes. I'm pretty sure the banana bread is going to be ready now. Perfect. So there we have our banana bread. <laughs>